Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty in Chapter Twenty Four. Chapter Twenty Four is about capacitance, Dow Electric's electric energy storage. So now we look at this circuit, and we know the voltages from point A to B is V, and then it's connected with five capacitors, C one, C two, C three, C five, right? And then we need to determine the equivalent capacitance. Wow, the first time we see it. Who knows, right? It's not the series connection. It's not power connection. How can we do that? So now you can see we can solve it by consider the voltage changes and the current changes. So first of all, we look at the V, right? From the point A to B, we can go through the C two and C one, right? So that makes the voltage V equal to V two plus V one. V Because it goes through this line from A to C to C to C one, right, and then goes to B. And also, this V can go through from the C two to C three to C four this way, right? And then it also can go through from the C C C two C five to C four this way, right? From the A to C five to C four this way. So now we get the three equations about the voltages. Another one we can see we can see from the point A, from the point C there to there, we can see the potentials V two plus V three must equal to V five, right? Because this is a parallel. This two point are same, and then we look at these two point, they are same. So make V one equal to V three plus V four, V four, right? So now we write this as five equations. Another one we can consider the charge. We can see we can consider the charge from the point A is Q, from the point A is Q, and then it goes through this branches, and this branches. So we can see Q equal to Q two plus Q five, right? Yes. And then from this point, it is split in two ways, Q one and Q three from the Q two, right? So Q two equal to Q one plus Q three. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. And then at this point, we can see from the Q three to Q five, it just come together to Q four, right? So we have this one. And then from Q one and Q four, it comes together, returns to point B. This is also Q. Right, so now you can see we get、uh, so much equations. How can you solve the C? One thing, the very simple way is、uh, we replace the charge Q with the corresponding capacitance times the corresponding voltages. Right. So for this equation, we can see the C as or the Q as C times V, the Q two as C two times V two, the Q five as C five times V five. For this equation, we can write the, uh, Q as C times V, Q one as C one times V one, Q four as C four times V four, and Q two we can write as C two times V two, Q one as C one times V one, Q three as C three times V three, and Q four we can write as C four times V four, Q three we can write as C three times V three, Q five we can write as C five times V five. Now we get so much equation. How can you solve the equation C? Of course, when we want to solve it, this equation we must put it there, right? This equation we must select to solve, and this equation maybe we can put it there, and then we write these three equation together. So you can see now we select these six equations to solve it. When we want to solve it, you can see, wow, it's difficult, right, to solve the C. How can we do that? One way is、uh, we try to reduce. The unknown quantities step by step, right? So there, I select the we just keep two variables, one and four. Then you can replace v two, v three, v five by the quantities v v one, v four. So this is how I choose to do that. You can choose any other uh unknown quantities like like v one, v three, whatever you like, right? So in this case, I select v one and v four, right? So you can see from the v one and v four, we can write the variable v two as v minus v one, 
v3 as v minus v2 minus v4. And we talk about we just select v1 and v4, so v2 need to be replaced from the first equation. Put it inside, you get the function look like this one. And v5, we can write it as v minus v4, right? So now you can see these three variables can be replaced by the two quantities, v1 and v4, right? Yes. Now we replace this v2, v3, v5, and then we need to replace v2, v3, v5 in the following three equations. So this one, this one, and this one, you just introduce v2, v5 inside. It looks like this one. Agree? Yes. Right? And then we can simplify these three equations. Simplify it. It looks like this one. Mm -hmm. Right? Now you can see from these three equations, you only have variables is v1, v4, right? v1, v4. Now three equations to solve two variables. Can you do that? Yes. So it looks like we can get we can select two equations to get the function for v1 and v4. There we can select these two equations to solve the v1 and v4. Then we replace v1, v4 in, in this equation. Get the same. This is our strategies. Now how to solve these two equations to get v1, v4? So we can see we can go next step. So first we just uh, repeat, we just uh, rewrite these three equations here, right? This these two equations is we saw we selected to solve the v1 and v4. And then in this one we can see this one we can times c3. This one we can times c4 for each term, right? So for this uh, equation, we times C3 at each term. For this equation, we times C4 at each term. And then we add these two equations together. You can see this term, this term cancels, right? And then we can get the function for V1, look like this one. And then it can be simplified there. So we put it aside there. Now next one, we need to solve the uh, v1, right? Solve the v1, how can we do that? So that means that in this function, you need to times this term for the first function, you times this term for each, for each terms, right? You times this term at the left side and the right hand side. And for this function, you times c1 at the left hand side and right hand side, times c1 for each term. And then for this two equation, you can say this one, this one can cancel. And then use the first term, this term, subtract the second function, you get the function for v4. Simplify it, you get the v4 there. So we put it there. Now you can see you get a v4 and v1 and v4. And input v1 and v4 in this function. You can see if you input it inside, you just uh, kill all the unknown quantities, v1, v2, v3, v5, right? And then in this equation, the only unknown quantity is C. Agree? So you simplify it times the term for each side, and then put the C out in at there. And then there you can see, uh, it's so difficult to solve it. But this term is a quantity. We can replace that with A. That will be easy. This term is uh, another quantity b right this term we just uh, do a small trick this term is a this term is b we we can replace it and then you can solve it get the c functions in the term a b and the c1 c2 uh, c5 and c4 right and then you replace a and b inside you get the final answer look like this one wow it looks difficult but if you follow my strategies because at the very beginning we have five unknown quantities right how can you solve it first of all you select two uh two quantities two variables and replace the rest of quantities with these two variables and just add just kill the unknown quantities step by step finally you can get the answer there the next one is very easy it tell you the quantities for c1 c2 c4 C3, C4, C5, and then you just input known quantities, you get the final answer there. Thank you.